everyone, welcome back to the Unboxers, and today we have for you some awesome Marvel Legends figures, and these are like the throwback kind. Yeah, these are like, yeah, like retro, it even has the, the Kenner, Kenner logo, logo, which is so cool. We love that, it, it, we just take a pause for nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> so these figures are based on uh, the same size, or about the same size figure that came out. Um, yeah, well, I think it's like 3.75 is. Back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. So today we'll be taking a look at the amazing Spider-Man and Fantastic Four's Human Torch. So here's, he looks really cool in the box. You can see like the flames going up his arms, legs, and his hair's on fire. Let's take a look at the back. So you get that kind of comic book feel, kind of retro flashback. And I like the background here where it's like comic Yeah. in the back. Um, and then it gives you a little... Um, this is actually you can you can cut this like out. Cut it out, yeah. I mean that was very that was very. Um, oh yeah. What, That's what like seventies or eighties, like when when uh, when I was collecting. Yeah, you always had like a thing on the back that you cut yeah. out and and collected. Or you as well. or you had the collect them all and you save the back of the box. Yeah. You're always saving the back of the box. There weren't as many checklists as there are where you save the back right, of the yeah. packaging. Right. Yeah. Very true. But anyway, so um, Human Torch says, Day or night, the fantastic Human Torch lights up the sky in the battle against evil for justice. He will fly. Um, and then in all different languages. That's cool. All right. And then the amazing Spider-Man. He looks so cool. His, um, uh, he's got a really cool paint job. Like, uh, I love the spider. They're very precise. Yeah. All the lines on him. And they're very dark. Yeah. Which um, makes him stand out. Um, and I like the shade of red and blue that they used. Here's his little card on the back. It says, high above the ground, swinging through the streets, Spider-Man stops criminals that seem impossible to beat. So there he is, and that's really cool. So I love the retro packaging, and for those of you who save it in the packaging, I can definitely appreciate that. But we're going to go ahead and take them out. Yes. We're going to give you a much closer look, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and they're out of their packaging. And John managed to save. You can maybe take that back, and then you can kind of have it as a background. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Human Torch first. So he's very translucent. Yeah, I love that they tell. made him translucent. That is so cool. So you have a flashlight over there to show, because uh, we can't really hold him up to the studio lighting. Yeah, look at that. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> he really looks like he's on fire that way. Um, I love how they did that. Um... So here's his face with his uh, yellow hair, and the hair is like ru more, uh, so even more rubbery than the actual body part. And then you have the flames going up his arms, which is really cool, and legs. So they did a great job. And these are these are nostalgic, like a throwback. So um, they're not going to be like you know uh, all different kind of crazy poses. Right. But I right, really right. do love the size of them. And um, and I just think I really do think they're a great size and a great detail to the size. They did a great job on these. So, do you want to show what they can do? Um, basically, just the sure. basics. Yeah, I mean it's basically like the old like standard five points of articulation. So, you know, you have the you can sit down, the legs, the arms. Yeah, you can put them in a vehicle. <laughs> you can do his arms, and then of course the neck. So, yeah. But very cool. I mean, it's definitely, um, and like you said, like for the size, um, you know, I mean, that's just, they're just going to look really cool, like, like, because there's quite a few of these, mm -hmm. um, you know, like grouped together on the shelf to just have like the, um, the basic characters. Up yeah. There. And, um, these are the, like the perfect, you know, like put it in your pocket toy size, yeah. you know, when you're, when you're going, when you're a kid, you shoved a couple action figures, man, or, you know, whatever in your pocket, and then you had entertainment for hours. Wherever your mom took you or your yeah, dad took you. Yeah, this was definitely you. like the standard, like the go-to size. Um, oh when, yeah, when, for uh, little hands too. Up. Yeah. Um, and then here's Spider-Man. He looks really cool. I really, um, I think it's like the dark lines that's really drawing me, as well as probably the finish on his suit. Cause um, like, like I'm almost getting a diecast metal. Yeah. Um, feel to the to the coloring and everything, but he's not. He's he's plastic like the other one. And um, I think he looks great. He's got the same articulation, of course. Um, you, you know, he can he can sit down. But I don't think I've ever seen Spider-Man sit down. <laughs> well, no, he does think on the, uh, what was that show? On the Electric Company. I oh, think yeah. He does the, he sits down and thinks. 
But anyway, and he's got his hands in the web pose, both of them. Because you never know, you're going to be shooting webs. That's right. And swinging. So I think he is a really awesome size. Um, and I think, um, I don't know, between these two I couldn't even choose because I love the, uh, the detail and the webbing on Spider-Man as well as his coloring and the translucentness of Human Torch. I am hoping uh, to be able to find some more of these um, out and about, um, but um, but definitely stay tuned because we do have um, a green giant and Carol, Carol Danvers, Danvers aka Captain Marvel. Um, so, um, and, but I do know that there are quite a few of these figures, so I am definitely on the lookout when we are out and about. Alright, so thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.